Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my April Rainbow Crate. Um, I'm very excited. I love receiving Rainbow Crate um, subscription box. We don't know this is a queer subscription box. We do two books in this in each box and you get like two fandom items. So let's go ahead and open this real quick. So here is the box with the rainbow paper as always. So the first thing we have here is our monthly magnet that we always get every single month. And I like them, they're very cute. I don't really have anywhere to place them though, but I do like them, they're always very, very cute. Um, I have no idea what this is inspired by, so I'm gonna go ahead and see our spoiler card and stuff. So this month's theme is You Belong Here. And this is just like the spoiler card with all the information that we need. Um, so yeah, this month's theme is You Belong Here. And okay, so our magnet is inspired by The City Beautiful. Um, I have no idea what that is, but that's what it's inspired by. And then we have our other item here, which is this metal thing. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be, but it's inspired by Siren Queen. I think it's a bookmark, a metal bookmark, yeah. But I love this. This is amazing. I, I love the design of it. And I like that it has this little hanging thing of the bookmark. I love it. I love the design and this is very, very pretty. I, yeah, I love this a lot. So yeah, this is a metal bookmark with the charm and it's inspired by the Siren Queen. Um, yeah, I love these and I would be very happy if they make more of these metal bookmarks. I love using metal bookmarks and this one is really, really nice. So I'm very happy with that. Okay, and then we have a, um, art print here, which is inspired by the traditionally published book in this month's box. All right, so now let's go ahead and take out the two books that we get this month. All right, so here are the two books. We get an indie book, and then we get a traditionally published book. The traditional published book, they just do a redesigned cover, and then the indie one, they do the spread edges and everything else. So let's go ahead and grab the traditionally published one out first. Okay, so the first thing here is we get a signed book plate to go with the book. And this month's book is Anna and Santi Were Here by Johnny Garza Villa. Villa. Um, so here is the cover that they did. If I'm being honest, I do like it, but I, it's not my favorite um, art style. I read this book last year, I got an arc of it. And I really, really loved it, but so I was really excited that they were going to do this book, but I'm not like the biggest fan of this cover design or this art style really, but I, I mean, I still like it though. Um, I just kind of wish it went with a different artist, but anyways, there is the spine and then here's the back and on the back is, it has a dear reader from the author letter. So that's really nice. I do love that a bit. And again, um, they do like these nutrition facts on the inside flap, which I always love. Um, I think it's really cool. It has the representation in the book, the genre, the plot, the point of view and demographics and stuff like that, that I just really enjoy. Um, and again, like I said, um, they don't do nothing else to the traditionally published book. Um, it's all like the standard edition. And then it also comes with the original cover of the book. And I really love the original cover, but yeah, I'm really excited that um, I have one special edition of this book. Cause I, like I said, I really love this one. Okay, right, so then we have our indie published book here. And it's a very, very short book, um, but that is The Bruising of Quilvo by Nazman Jimna. I definitely mispronounced all of these words, <laughs> but here is the redesign cover and I really like it. It looks really, really nice. I don't like the um, tr um, the original cover, which I'll put right here. I do not like the original cover, but I love this cover. This cover is really, really pretty. It has nice folding on it. Um, so there is the spine of that. And then here is the back cover which also looks really, really nice. Um, and we have 
you, normally we get like digitally printed edges, but this time we just have um, gold um, gilded edges, which I'm assuming they went that route because this book is extremely short. Um, and I kind of wish they chose a different book because I really don't care about this one. But, and it just, it's just a little too short. Like, you know, um, it's with the price of this book, I was just kind of hoping they would do something better. A uh, different book that's thicker. But anyways, here is the Naked Hardback. And it is very, very pretty. It has some nice gold folding on this printed blue design, which looks really, really pretty. Um... And then we have character artwork on the inside end pages, which I think are always nice. And then there this, oh no, the back is different. We have a map on the back there, which I do like quite a bit. So, yeah, it's a very short book. It's less than 200 pages. Um, so there's that. And then this one um, is supposed to come with a signed book plate, but we, I just got an email earlier today saying that they're going to send out um, the book plates um, later this week because they forgot to ship it in this box. But yeah, that is the April um, Rainbow Crepe books. Um, it's not my favorite month. I, I'm, I mean, I'm glad I have, I have this box because they do queer books only and I love collecting queer books and having special editions of them. It's just always very, very nice. And like I said, I love this book. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of this art style, I still think it's nice. Um, and this is a pretty edition. I just kind of wish they chose a bigger, thicker book. Um, because it's just so short. And I don't like Gilded Edges, really. So, there's that. But I will say I love the metal bookmark that they included. And the magnets are always nice. So... I mean, overall, um, I did enjoy this box. I'm just not, like, the biggest fan of it. But, yeah, I mean, I still enjoy them. So, yeah, that's the Rainbow Crate for the month of April. Let me know your thoughts of the books and on the items. Uh, make sure to like, comment below, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.